slideshow from the beginning. Subcourse AL0926 Edition A Basic Hydraulic simple, symptom, Systems and Components Army Institute of Professional Development Army Correspondence Course Program Lesson 1 Hydraulic Reserves and Filters, Pumps, Accumulators, and Motors STP Tasks 552758106355275810635 Introduction. As a means of storing hydraulic fluid and minimizing contamination, it is necessary to any of the aircraft hydraulic system the functions are performed by the reservoir filters, the component which for the cause of the fluid to flow with the hydraulic system. The heart of any hydraulic system could be a hand pump, power driven pump, accumulator, or any combination of the three. Finally, a means of converting hydraulic pressure to mechanic rotation is sometimes necessary, and this is accomplished by a hydraulic motor. Hydraulic reservoirs. A hydraulic reservoir is contained from the holding of the fluid required for the supply of the system and included as a reserve to cover any losses from minor leakage and evaporation. The reserve can be designed to provide space and fluid expansion, permit air entrant entrant and trained into a fluid to escape. To help the cool of the fluid, figure 1-1 one, one shows two typical reservoirs. Compare the two reservoirs item by item and accept them, except for the filters and bypass valves, notice the, the similarities. Filling reserves to the during the surface and leaves no space expansion. Most reserves are designed for the um, with the rim and the filler neck below the top of the reserve to prevent overflowing. Some of the means of checking the fluid level is usually provided with a reservoir. This may be a glass or plastic site, gauge, tube, dips, or dipstick. Hydraulic reservoirs are either vented to the atmosphere or closed to the atmosphere and pressurized. A description of each type follows. Vented reservoir. A vented reservoir is one that opens the atmospheric pressure then uh, the, through a vent line. Basically, atmospheric pressure, gravity, with the force which causes the fluid to flow um, to the pump, and the vented reservoir is mounted on the highest point of the hydraulic system, and air is drawn into the exhausted. In, into and exhausted from the reservoir through a vent line. A filter usually installed with the vent line to prevent foreign material from the being taken into the system. Pressurized reservoir. A pressurized reservoir is sealed from atmosphere. The reservoir is pressured either by engine or bleed or air by hydraulic pressure reduced within the hydraulic system itself. Pressurized reservoirs are used on aircraft in of the high altitude flight where atmospheric pressure is not enough to cause fluid flow to pump. In reserves pressurized by engine bleeding air, the amount of air pressure is determined by an air pressure regulator, usually 10 to 15 pounds per square inch gauge. Example of the hydraulic pressure reservoir used in this CH-47 hydraulic system is shown in figure 1-2. The reserve of the tank is referred to as boiling, boiling vertol, and is controlled by the metal housing of two internal pistons, one fixed on the other floating piston the, with a slide along the central tube attached floating piston to the large tube. The projects through the forward end of the tank and calibrated indicated full and refill liquid fluid levels for ramp up and ramp down positions. Our right, figure one one shows the typical hair, um, hydraulic reservoir. Um, I didn't know the the aircraft aircraft uh, you can barely read these. Um, but there's the baffle filter. Um. I thought, all right, hydraulic fluid at 3,000 PSI flows into the central tube and shown in figure 1, 2, pass it through the two outlet holes supplied for the pressure of the piston area between the two tubes because um, the smaller piston has 5.5 5 square inches exposed surface and floating piston has a three um, three squ 30 square inches exposed to the surface. The 3,000 psi pressure acting upon the smaller forward area produces opposing pressure of 50 pounds psi on the return fluid stored in the rear bit of the piston. Additional reservoir components may be reserved as shown in figure 1 1 and are constructed with the baffles to fins to keep the fluid from swirling and foaming. Foaming can cause the air to become entrained in the system. Filters are incorporated with the same as the reservoir to filter in fluid before it leave, leaves the reservoir. A bypass valve is used to ensure the pump that does not starve it's, um, if the filter becomes clogged. A standpipe is used with the reservoir which supplies the normal and emergency system. The main system draws its fluid from a standpipe in which is located with a higher elevation than this ensures a an adequate fuel um, fluid supply secondary system is if the main system fails all right you have your hydraulic reservoir pressurized fluid hydraulic fluid housing tubing cavity air 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 straight strainer um, forward end 
from um, from pit from station pressure lines, piston um, supply fluid, pump and outlet in the supply fluid from section return lines, housing tube fluid, pump outlet lines. All right, hydraulic filter. Contamination for the hydraulic fluid is one of the most common hydraulic system troubles. Installing the filter using the pressure return line with the hydraulic allows the contamination to be removed from the fluid before it reaches the various operation components. Filters of this type referred to as, fil as line filters. Line filter construction. Typical line filter is shown in figure 1-3 with the two major parts of the filter case, the bowl, and the filter head. The bowl holds the head of the, the screw into the head of the inlet port, outlet port relief valve. Normal fluid um, flow is through the inlet port and around the outside of the element through the element of the inner chamber out of through the outer port of the bypass valve let the um, fluid bypass the filter element if it becomes clogged typical um, line filter assembly inlet port outlet port bypass valve um, um, filtering element your head your filtering element um, gasket bypass valve and Type of filter elements. The most common filtering element used for the Army aircraft is the micro micronic type. The disposable unit may, uh, made of treated with a cellulose and is formed with accordion plate. It's a shown figure for well, figure one three. Most filters are capable of removing all contaminants larger than ten to twenty five microns or microns equal to four one four hundred thousandths of an inch. Any other type of the cumulative filter element it has a stack as closely spaced disc shaped like a spoke wheels. The hydraulic filter is lifted and filtered as it passes between the disc. Hand operated hydraulic pump. The heart of the hydraulic system is the pump in which converts the mechanical energy to the hydraulic energy. So for the mechanical energy may be an electrical motor in the engine and the operator's muscle. The pumps operated with the muscles are called hand pumps. They are used in emergency backups for pow back power pumps. For ground check for the hydraulic system, the double action hand pump produces the fluid flow from the ever stroke that is on the only one type only type used for the Army aircraft. Hand to the right, hand, handle to the right. The double action hand pump shown in figure 114 consists of a cylinder piston with a built in check valve piston rod operating handle. Check a valve built into the inlet port. The handle is moved in the, into the right. Into the, um, the piston rod is also moved to the right. On the stroke of the inlet, the check valve opens, result with a partial vacuum caused by the movement of the piston, allowing, allowing the fluid. Allowing fluid to be drawn with the left chamber as at the same time the inner check valve closes the piston move the right uh, the fluid of the right chamber is forced out of the system. Figure one four shows the double action hand pipe operating handle um inlet port outlet port inlet port piston check valve piston rod outlet port o ring. And to the left. When the handle is moved to the left, the piston and the rod assembly also move to the left. The inlet check valve now closes, preventing the fluid in the left chamber from returning to the reservoir. At the same time, the piston head check valve opens, allowing the fluid to enter into the right chamber. Fluid into the system, the pump produces the pressure of the both strokes. Because of the difference with the volume um, between the right and left chamber, the piston rod takes up the good share of the space in the right chamber. Therefore, excess fluid is forced out of the pump and into the hydraulic system, creating fluid pressure. Your pump-driven hydraulic pumps. Pump-driven pumps are receiving the driving force with external powers, um, power source such as aircraft engines. The force converted with the entry and formed with the fluid pressure. The four basic types of the power-driven or hydraulic pumps are gear, vane, diaphragm, and piston. One of these piston types most commonly found with the aircraft, army aircraft. The reason for this is that it operates more efficiently than higher pressure. At higher pressure than has a longer life than any other any of the others. Piston pumps are for other categories either constant delivery or constant delivery or variable delivery. Pumps are coupled with driving up shorts and spline coupling shafts, commonly known called a drive coupling. As shown in Figure Five One One Five, the shaft is designed for the weakened center of the section called the shear section. Shell um, with just enough strength to run up the pump under the normal circumstances should be the trouble within the pump because it's the un turn unusual hard. The shear section will break and the prevents the damage to the pump in the driving unit. Are right, this shows the pumping drive section and um, pumping drive coupling shear section for coupling drive coupling drive coupling. Alright, 
constant delivery pistons deliver the um, given quantity of the fluid per revolution of the driving couple of regardless of the pressure to demand. Um, the quantity of the fluid is delivered per minute depends on the pump the revolution per minute and system requirements the constant pressure for the type of the flow must be with the pressure regulated the two type of the constant delivery piston pumps are aircraft and an angular cam the angular piston co- pump construction the basic component for the angular piston pump are shown in figure one six they are a rotating group of the consisting of coupling shaft universal link coupling rods piston and cylinder block two a stationary group consisting of the valve plate and the pump of the case and the housing. The cylinder bores lie parallel to and an evenly spaced around the pump axis. For this reason, the piston pump is often referred to as an axle pistol pump. Packagings on the seal are not required to control the piston to bore. Leak with is controlled entirely with the closing. The machine accurately fit between the piston and the bore. The clearance is not enough to allow the lubricate. You shouldn't buy the hydraulic fluid in slight expansion, but the wet parts become heated um, pistons are individually fitted within the bores during the manufacture, but it's not, it must not be changed for the pump-to-pump pump or bore-to-bore bore. pump operation as a coupling shaft turned by the power pump sources. Piston and the cylinder blocking turn along because, the, because they are interconnected. The angle of this exists for the cylinder blocking the coupling shaft that causes the piston to move back and forth in their respective cylinder bores or air as the coupling is turned. During the first half of the revolution, uh, revolution of the pump, the cylinder is aligned with the inlet port, the valve port, and the time of the position moving away from the valve port, drawing hydraulic so, fluid into the cylinder during the second half of the valve revolution, the cylinder is lining up with the outlet port with the valve plate. At this time, the piston is moving toward the valve plate. This causes the fluid previous drawn within to the cylinder to be forced out through the outlet pipe port. Fluid is constantly being drawn into the explosion, spelled out of the pump as it turns. This provides multiple overlap individual spurts of the fluid force within the cylinder, result in the delivery of smooth, non pulsating flow of the fluid from the pump. Cam piston pumps. A cam is used to cover the stroking the piston into the cam piston pump. The two variations are used and one of the cam rotates and the cylinder block is stationary and the other the cam is stationary and the cylinder block rotates. But the cam piston um, pumps are described below. Typical angular pumps. The show of the pump case and it's stationary the cylinder um, and the uh, n- n- nameplate. It shows a uh, rotating a seal, a coupling shaft, a coupling shaft, uh, um, outlet drain port for um, <sighs> piston. Cylinder block connection rod. Um, Are you rotating cam pump? The rotating cam pump is one of the most commonly used army in aviation. The cam term for the rotating cam pump, the figure one seven, the high low and point pass, the alternating and turn around each position. If it pushes the um, it pushes the piston further into the bore, causing fluid to expelled from the bore. When the falling falling in the face of the cam comes under the piston, the piston returns the spring, pulls down the piston into the bore, and this causes the fluid to be drawn into the bore. Each bore has a check valve that opens out allowing the um, fluid to expel by the bore by the piston movement. Of these valves are closed. With the spring pressure during the inlet strokes of the piston, the fluid is drawn into the bore only through the central inlet passage of the bore. On the, only through the center inlet passage, the movement of the piston drawn and expelling fluid in the overlapping result of the non pulsating fluid flow. Typical rotating cam piston. Um, in the. Uh, Stationary cam pump. The operation of the construction stationary cam pump are identically to those of the rotating, except that the cylinder block turns and not the cam. Stationary cam pump is not used in the Army OV1HG1G and UH1C. Variable delivery um, piston pump. The variable delivery piston pump automatically instantly varies with the amount of fluid delivered in the pressure circuit with the hydraulic service system to pressure meet the varying system demand. They accomplish even the compensator with the integral part of the pump. The compensator's incentive is to the amount of the present pressure, pressure present with the pump of the hydraulic system pressure with the circuit with the circuit pressure with the rises. Compensator with the cause of the pump out to decrease the conversely with the circuit with the pressure drop of the compensator cause of the pump outlet to increase. There are two ways varying output demand of the principal cam and to and stroke reduction principles angular demand principle the demand principle figure one eight based on the varying of the pump output output to fill the system change that depends on making the best and stroke with effective and varying degrees variable de- um, delivery demand principle cam pump
Right, the pistons are designed in large hollow centers. The centers are inside with the cross drill with the relief hole for the open of the pump gauge. Each of the pistons is equipped with a movable sleeve, which can be by the relief hole. For these holes are not blocked with the fluid display for the piston is discharged through the relief hole in the pump gauge instead of the pass pump with the check valves out of the outlet port with the fluid of flow is required for the sleeve of the position and the block of the relief relief hole for the entire length of the piston stroke to seal the flow is required um the sleeve of their piston, piston not to block the flow during any of the portion of the piston stroke with the requirements between the zero and the, the full flow of the relief holes of the uncovered and blocks accordingly. The sleeves are mounted into the into their required position. The device is called the pump compensator piston. The sleeve of the compensator piston are interconnected with the means of the spider fluid pressure of the compensator piston obtained through the discharge port with the persistent pressure through a central orifice. Stroke reduction principle principle in the stroke of the reduction principle figure one nine post of the bearing of the angle of, angle of the cylinder block um, angular pump with the controls length of the piston stroke and thus the volume per stroke with the cylinder block the angle change with the achieve with the using of the yoke and the shivel swivels around the pivot being called the pintle. The angle of the automatically control and controlled by the using the compensator assembly consisting of the pressure control valve with the pressure control piston. And mechanical linkage is connected to the yoke. A system pressure increase with the pilot valve opens the passage way along with the fluid with the act on the control piston. The piston moves the pressing of the spring through the mechanical linkage, moves the yoke toward the zero flow or zero angle position. A system pressure decrease with the measure for the relief of the piston spring moves the up and the piston to the move the pump to the into the flow flu, full flow position. Hydraulic accumulators prepare the hydraulic accumulator to store in the hydraulic fluid under pressure. There may be a use to dampen hydraulic shock, which may develop when pressure surges occur in the hydraulic system. Add output to the pump during the peak of the load operation of the system, making it possible to use the pump at much smaller capacity than it would otherwise be required. Absorb increase of fluid volume caused by the increase of the temperature acts as a source of the fluid pressure for the, starting with the aircraft auxiliary power units or APUs assist in emergency operations. Or your variable stroke reduction pump, one, the pressure outlet line, two, the passageway valve, three, the valve plate, four, the block assembly, five, five the yoke, six, the bearing, seven, the drive shaft, seven, um, I can't read seven, eight, and nine, but I think they're piston, piston openings. 11 pressure control platoon, pl um, plate, plating, adjusting screw, pilot valve, and pressurized control valve. Accumulators are divided into types according with the means of the use to separate the fluid chain for the least diaphragm, bladder, and the piston accumulator diaphragm. Accumulator, the diaphragm accumulator consists of two hollow hemispherical metal in the sections bolted together at the center of the nose of the figure 110 um, that one half of the plating is attached to the unit of the hydraulic system. The other half is equipped with the air valve with the charging the unit with the compressed air and nitrogen. Mounted between the two halves is a synthetic rubber diaphragm that divides the accumulator into the two sections. The accumulator initially uh, charged with air through the air valve with the pressure approximately 50 percent of the hydraulic system pressure the initial air charge force of the diaphragm upward against the inner surface of the upper section of the accumulator 110 shows the um, diaphragm accumulator it shows the system pressure on the air valve um, when fluid pressure increased with the initial air charge the fluid forced up of the chamber through the system pressure port pushing the diaphragm down further compressing the air to the bottom of the chamber under the peak load of the air pressure low chamber force of the fluid back into the hydraulic system maintaining operating pressure also in the power of the pump fails the compressed air forces the limited amount of the pressure fluid into the system bladder accumulator the bladder accumulator operates the same principle the same purpose of the diaphragm accumulator but the various construction shown in figure 1-1. One, one. The unit is one piece of metal shear here that fluid pressure into the top of the opening of the bottom of the insert of the bladder, the large screw tie with the plug, bottom accumulator is retainer of the blade, um, blade bladder, and that's the, all the seals of the unit, high pressure air valve that also incorporated with the retainer plug fluid to enter through the system pressure port fluid as pressure increased with the glove, the initial air charge for the accumulator, it forces the bladder downward against the air our bladder accumulator shows the air pushing down on the screw plug um, on the air valve, um, the air valve and the screw plug. All right, charge the filling of uh, filling of the upper chamber with the fluid pressure broken lines. Figure one one indicate the proximal piston of the bladder at the time of the initial charge. The piston accumulator, the piston accumulator serves the same purpose, and operates the same principle as do the diaphragm and the bladder accumulators shown in figure one twelve. The unit of the consisting of a cylinder piston assembly with the ports on each end. Fluid pressure of the system enters the left of the port, forcing the piston down against the initial air charge of the right chamber of the cylinder. A high pressure air valve is located at the right port of the charging of the unit. The drill passage of the fluid side of the piston is outside of the piston. Um, provides the lubrication between the cylinder walls and the piston. Piston 1, figure 112 shows the piston accumulator, the fluid pressure, and the air pressure. Um, the um, drilled, pi um, drilled hydraulic lock. Um, 
Hydraulic motors. Hydraulic motors are installed with the hydraulic system. They use this hydraulic pressure to obtain the power of rotation. The hydraulic motor does not use just the opposite, uh, opposite, op, 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 opposite of the power-driven pump. Pa, a pump to receive the force, um, rotor force from the engine or other driven unit that converts it into hydraulic pressure. Hydraulic mo motor receives the hydraulic fuel pressure and converts it into rotative force. Figure 113 shows the typical hydraulic motor two main pores through the which the fluid is um, pressure to receive the return fluid for the discharge marked A and B respectively. The motor and its a cylinder um, block piston assembly with its bores and pistons are in axle line arrangement. The same as in the hydraulic pump. The hydraulic motors can be easily in in instantly start and stop. They're reversed under any degree of the load. They can all they can be stalled by they can be stalled by Overload without damage, the direction of the rotation of the hydraulic motor can be changed by reversing the flow of the fl fluid of the fl fluid of the fluid flow of the fluid into the ports of the motor. All right, Figure 113 shows the um, typical hydraulic motor um, ports, cooling and lubricating, and port one and port port A and port B. All right, the summary. The basic components of any of the hydraulic system reserve filters and pumps hand and power driven. The reserve holds the fluid supply with the system helps cool the fluid. Uh, filters are used to ensure the non-contamination reach for the components. Hydraulic system pleated with a micronic filter with the most common the pump converts the mechanical engine to fluid flow. With the most common power driven power is piston pump with all, 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 but, all but the simple hydraulic system variable delivery and pump. The use of the variable delivery pump delivers the amount of fluid demand of the system. This is accomplished through the use of the compensator depending on the type of the aircraft. Hydraulic Hydraulic accumulators, hydraulic motors can be used for the found in the system accumulators, used for the primary to supply pressure for the starting auxiliary power unit. Emergency hydraulic pressure, the hydraulic pressure performs a variety of the functions, including raising and lowering cargo doors, operating with the rescue hoist and posting, positioning wing flaps. Lesson two: Basic construction and operation of hydraulic acu actuation, actuating devices and flow control directional devices. STB test. Five five two seven five eight one thousand three five five two seven five eight one thousand seventy one. Introduction. So the fluid pressure produced at the pump that can be used for the move of the some object pressure that may be converted with the usable force means the actuating of the device is called the actuating cylinder. You the empower of the powered straight line motion to mechanism. The hydraulic system must also have the devices control direct fluid of the pressure of the various components. Such devices include selector valves, the check valves, ratchet valves, irreversible valves, sequence valves, and priority valves, each described in the following paragraph that follow. Actuating the cylinder. The because the actuating cylinder consists of the cylinder housing one or more pistons, the piston rod, or one or more seal of the cylinder housing contains a polished board with which the piston operates one or more parts but through which the fluid enters the leaf of the ports. The piston and the rod form an assembly move forward and backward with the cylinder bore. The piston rod moves into the out of the cylinder housing through the opening in the one of the both ends. The seals are used to prevent leakage between the piston cylinder board between the piston rod and housing. The two major types of the actuating cylinders are single action and double action. Single action actuating cylinder. The single action actuating cylinder shown in figure 2 1 consists of the cylinder housing with one fluid part. When piston arrive with the assembly, piston return spring sealed with no pressure applied with the piston. The return spring holds the rod assembly in the re retracted position. The hydraulic pressure is applied with the inlet port with the piston and sealed with the cylinder wall by an O ring that does not allow fluid to pass if it's caused the piston to extend. The piston and rod extend with the return spring compressed the bit on the side. Spring side with the piston allows the air to escape. The pressure is relieved with the return spring with the force with the piston to retract the piston, pushing the fluid out of, in the, out of the cylinder wiper. The housing keeps the piston and rod clean. Cylinder, rod, cylinder can pressure operated with that in one direction. One of the three ways the control of the valve is normally used to, into the cylinder operation. Control cylinder operation. Are your double actuating, uh, double action actuating cylinder, double actuating, ac double action actuating cylinder consists of cylinder with a port of either end, both either end, and a, and a piston or rod assembly extending from the one end of the cylinder passage. Pressure, pressure applied with the board A cut of the piston to extend force from the fluid from the opposite side of the piston out of port B. The pressure applied with the port B, the piston re to retract, forcing the fluid opposite chamber out through port A. Figure two one shows your single action actuating cylinder. Uh, you have your fluid port, your piston, um, and piston, your mounting um, holes, your return spring, your vent, your rod wiper, and your piston rod. The type of the cylinder is pressure is powered both by the direction of the hydraulic pressure selector valve is normally used in control double action actuating cylinder select valves are discussed in the next paragraph. So, um, paragraph two shows the double action actuating cylinder port A and port B um, actuating cylinder. Selector valves. Use the hydraulic system to control the direction of the operating mechanism selector valve with the referred to the directional control valve. The control valves 
A direct trail over the control valves or control valves that will provide pathways simultaneously flow with two streams of the fluid, one under pressure for the actuating unit and other a return stream. Out of the actuating unit, selector valves have various numbers of ports to determine the requirements of the system in which the valves are used. The selector valve of the four ports are most commonly used. They are referred to as four-way valves. Selector valves with further disclosed classified as closed center and open center types. Closed center selector valve, when a closed center selector valve is placed in the off position, the pressure package is blocked to the flow of the fluid, therefore there is no fluid, can, no fluid can flow through the pressure port and the hydraulic system stays operating pressure at all times. The four-way closed center selector valve is most commonly used selector valve in the aircraft hydraulics. There are two types. The rotary type closed center of track selector valve is shown in figure 2-3 with the rotor is valve of the device. The rotary, rotor is thicker than the circular disc of the drill fluid passages in place with the various operation position relative to the movement of the valve control handle. In the off position, the rotor position to close all ports. In the first on position, the rotor interconnects the pressure port with the number one cylinder port and the number two cylinder port is open to return. In the second on position, the reverse takes place. In spool type closed center selector valve shown in figure 2 floor, the valve has open as a housing connecting four ports and a spool pilot valve. The spool is made from a round shaft having the machine section forming the um, forming fo forming spaces to allow hydraulic fluid to pass the drill passage in, in the spool interconnects with the two ends of the chamber. Selector valve the large diameter of the spool and the bearing sealing surface they are they're called lands. See glossary. An operational spool valve is identically to the rotary type. Our figure 2-3 shows the closed center of selector valves, rotary. Um, Weserow relief valve pressure port, um, CWL port, CW, CL, CL port, return port, um, selector valve port. Um, two four typical spool um, closed center selector valves. Uh, peen, um, closed port, um, you can look at them as you like. Like uh, open selector valve, the external appearance uh, appearance of the open center selector valve looks at the closed center with the light closed center valve. The open selector valves have four ports operating in on, off, and on. I uh, hope operating in one off and two on. All right, piston. The difference between closed center with the open center of the pit valve and the off position, the closed center valve with the end of this port open, and are open to each other. The off position, open center with the valve with the pressure return of the port are open to each other. With the valve open, the piston of the is in if in the piston of the output system of the pump is returned with the selector valve with the reserve of the little resistance. Hence, an open center of system open operating pressure presents only uh, the actuating unit being operated. An open center rotary type selector valve that's shown in Figure Two Five. As you can see, the valve is off position. Flew with the pump center into the enters the pressure port, latches through the open center, and passes the rotor back into the reserve. When the valve is either in two positions, two on positions, it functions as the same as a closed center valve. All right, typical two five shows the typical open rotary selector valve. Um, off position, first and uh, first position, second position. An open center um, spool type selector valve with the shown figure 2 6 of nose of the valve that differs from the closed center type of the, the third land machine in the spool. The land is used to cover the pressure port, but the valve in this off position provides an inner passage for the spool, which allows the fluid to pump into the return of the reservoir open in both the, the on position the same as the closed center selector valve. Typical open cross um, se um, open center selector, uh, selector valve. Yeah. Basic open center hydraulic system. Hydraulic system is a classified open center for the closed center, but depending on the type of the selector of the valves, are you for the open center that has more than one selector valve, the valves are arranged in one behind the other in a series. In a closed, certain, in a closed center system, the valves are arranged in parallel to each other, the open center of the system. Fluid flows, um, fluid flow through the non pressure system of the selector valve of the non enclosed center of the system. Fluid is under the pressure throughout the system where the hydraulic pump is operating. Both systems are discussed in the paragraph that flow that follow the open center system of the figure 2 7 that shows the basic open center hydraulic system which uses the relief valve with the limit system pressure as was the mentioned earlier the type of the system um figure 2h of the basic closed circuit um closed center circuit closed center system 
All right, as fluid is below the no, um, no pressure, the uh, some of the uh, hydraulic devices operated with the selector valve. The off fluid um, flows from the reserve pump to through the opening center with the uh, passage of the, each of the valve of the back to reserve. No restriction exists in the system, therefore no pressure is present. When one valve is placed in the operating position, restriction is created by the device valve control fluid that flows under the pressure hydraulic device. Closed center of system figure two a shows the basic closed center um, system fluid and under pressure throughout the control system. The pumping operating when the selectors are in off position, the fluid control flow through the closed center of the this causes the pressure to build up in the system. This is available at any time the selector is turned off. The relief valve is used to keep the system pressure from going under, going above predetermined amount when all valves are off. Figure 2.9 shows a hydraulic servo incorporated sloppy, uh, sloppy link and bypass valve. Or you have your power piston, you have your housing, your um, slop, sloppy line, your pilot valve, your selector valve, pilot valve, pre your um, bi bi bypass valve set and re um, all right, your hydraulic servo. Hydraulic servo though, is a combination of selector valve with the actuating cylinder with a single unit with the pilot valve with the servo open with the operator automatically closed by the movement of the servo or actuating you explain with it below. The hydraulic servo is used with the aircraft which precisely control necessary over the distance of components of moves. Typical hydro hydraulic servos, figure 2-9, show the typical hydraulic servo in operation with the pilot valve with the display with the center of the pressure the direction with the one chamber with the power piston. The other chamber is the open to the return flow with the power piston travel with the pilot with the valve housing through because of the two are attached. The pilot valve itself is being held stationary by the operator in the ports are again blocked, become blocked in the lane with the pilot valve with the stop of the emit Listen when um, it has been moved, moved a required distance. Figure 210, a simplified in irreversible valve. Um, port check valve, relief valve, port um, fuel pump, two reservoir, port serve, serve piston, land. Your servo sloppy link. Um, notice that the servo sloppy link in Figure Two Nine is the is 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 the connection between the point between the control linkage pilot valve and the service piston rod. In its port, in its purpose is to permit the servo piston to be moved either in fluid pressure pressure manually, pressure fluid pressure or manually. The sloppy link provides a limited amount of slack between the connection linkage pilot pilot valve with the uh, because of the slack between the piston rod and the connection rod. Connection and linkage of the pilot valve um, can be moved on the position of the connecting linkage without moving the piston rod. Bypass valve. A bypass valve is provided to minimize the resistance servo piston movement when it is most be, be moved manually. The valve opens automatically when it is not operating the pressure on the servo. The fluid acts allows the fluid to flow freely between the chambers on each side of the piston. Your irreversible valve. During normal aircraft operation, external force of the aircraft control surface the ro as the rotor blades or air lines tend to move servo cylinders. This movement creates the public pump-like action when the servo called the feedback. The reversible valve prevents the feedback through the servo to control the stick. Figure 210 simplified schematic version of the irreversible valve. The broken line block represents the housing of the... Right, this is your typical um, application of a ratchet valve, ratchet valve, port 1, 2, um, ball 1, ball and um, spring, uh, relief valve off, select, uh, selector valve off, selector valve on, port 1, 2, um, ball, valve, ball, ball, sw sw piston, um, ratchet valve, and um, piston on a cam. Um. Valve. The check of the valve all, all allow, all allow the fluid um, from the pump to flow with the normal direction as shown in the arrow. For, for feedback force, the tend to move the servo piston in the opposite direction of the pump to produce the pressure. This tends to force the fluid um, backward through the irreversible valve. The check valve keeps the service piston from the yielding um, feedback, locking the rearward flow, rearward flow, fluid flow. The relief valve is a safe device to limit the pressure produced. It. Feedback induced in the movement of the servo piston. It opens, autom uh, all allows, it opens to allow the, to bypass the return fluid line the feedback pressure exceeds the predetermined safe limit your ratchet valve a ratchet valve is using the double action actuating cylinder to aid the holding and load of the piston where it is, has been moved the ratchet valve ensures the tra fluid on each side of the actuating cylinder pressure that there is necessary for the cylinder to lack the load against the movement of the either direction a typical ratchet valve that's shown in figure 211 consists of the housing of four ports published for two ball check valves and a piston the two the balls the piston that has extension on either unseat with the two ball check of the valves spring keeps these valves on their seats and no pressure is applied to the system the valve operation with no pressure and in figure a the two 
two eleven the ratchet valve is shown with the no pressure applied with the piston is down within the bore. Both of the lock wall check valves are closed. The locks are actuating the cylinder into the position, trapping all the fluid into the cylinder. Valve operation with the pressure applied in B figure two eleven the ratchet valve is shown with the pressure applied into port one. The force of the piston to the right unseats the ball check valve of the B pressure the into port one. Also unseats the ball check valve of the on left side and fluid flows through the ratchet valve and piston move to the right. Check valve. A check valve is installed with the hydraulic system to control the direction of fluid of the hydraulic fluid. Um, the check valve allows the free flow of the fluid in one direction, both, but not in the flow, flu, flow of the restricted one in the other direction. There are, there are two general design of check valves. One has its own, one has its own housing and connected to the other components by tubing and hosing. Check valves of the design are, uh, check valves of this design are called inline check valves, and the other design of check valves are either, is a part of another component is called integral check valve. It will be not, it will not be covered because of the operation identical to the inline check valve of the two types. The inline check valve, simple and or are described in the following paragraphs. Simple inline check valves illustrated figure 212 of the simple inline check valve consists of the casing inlet outlet ports ball and ball and spring assembly the ball and spring a permanently fluid flowing in the one direction block the flow of the completely with the opposite direction fluid of the pressure flow and force of the ball and out of the seat against the spring pressure permitting the fluid flow when the flow stops, the spring force of the ball against the seat and blocking reserve flow. Orifice inline check valve. The orifice check of the valve is shown in figure 213. You allow the free flow of the one direction limited flow in the opposite direction. This is accomplished by drilling a passage in the valve seat connecting the inlet side of the valve to the outlet side. So, all right, figure 212 shows a simple inline check valve. Um, shows the outlet port, inlet port, um, the it's a ball and spring kind of thing. Single type inlet check valve, small to ball type, and the outlet inlet valve. Part C, um, flow direction marking and making of a simple inline check valve. Figure 313, orifice inline check valve, or the outlet port, inlet port, drill passage, and flow direction marking of the orifice type, and inlet check valve part. Are your sequence valve the check, um, shown in Picker 214 place with the hydraulic system the delay of the operation one over the portion system of another portion of the same system that has been functioned for the example of the undesirable landing gear of the retract before the gear compartment doors are completely open and sequence valve the actuated fully open door when they would allow the pressure to enter the landing gear retract the cylinder sequence valve, valve consists of the valve potty and two ports of the ball and seal spring loaded in the closed position piston and spring loaded plunger compressing the plunger spring off the seats of the ball allows the passage to the of the flow to preserve the desired actuator the type of the typical sequence with the valve is mechanically operated it can be cylinder um, cylinder operative means of the micro switch in either case the valve is operated with the completion of the one phase of the multiple phase hydraulic cycle all right 214 shows a mechanical actuated se sequence valve um, closed and open port to one and two um um shows the from the pressure source of port one port one and port um two act activator Are your priority valves is installed with some hydraulic system to provide adequate fluid for the flow. Essential unit of the valve is installed with the line between the non-essential actuating unit with the source of its of the pressure. The permits free unrestrained, unrestrained flow fluid flow fluid non-essential unit along its system pressure with normal. The system pressure drops below the normal priority valve that automatically reduces the flow of the fluid. The non-essential unit for the priority valve, the figure 215, resembles a check valve in both external appearance and the internal operation. The spring acts with the hollow piston with maintain the contact of the valve seat with no system. Um, the pressure of the priority valve with the spring loaded piston and the clove with the piston against the valve seat. If the pressure is applied with the system, the fluid passes through the valve seat and is also through the drilled passages to act against the phase piston. The normal flow of the pressure of the piston moves against the spring tension, allowing the passage of the fluid. If the pressure decreases, the spring force of the piston to the seat assures the supplying of the fluid for an essential portion of the system. Or your typical priority valve shows the um, valve opening the um, Honed essential device, the inlet port, the valve seat, the score orifice, spring loaded valve devi um, device, the inlet and the vent, and the outlet port. The valve closed, permitting onlet only limited flow. All right, your summing. Hydraulic actuating cylinders are used to convert the fluid pressure with the straight line motion of the two types. The two types, single and double acting selector valves are used to the actuating cylinder to control the operation. The typical selector valve has two on positions extended with the retractor cylinder and one off position. The hydraulic system is closed with either one center of the closed center. Open center um, system have been open center selector valve with the closed center of the system. The closed with the center valve with the hydraulic servo, the physical combination actuator selector valves. They are also used to the precise control of movement that required for the normally found within the flight control system. Of an aircraft, irreversible flam valves are used in lines of servo, preventing with the feedback of the flighting control. Ratchet valves and locking devices actuating cylinders, they're holding the cylinders in any desired position. 
If the fluid full if full fluid flow in one direction only will require a simple line in light check valve that's used, but when the full flow is one direction, restricted flow of the opposite direction desire the orifice check with is used. When more than one function must be performed, the hydraulic system must the finite order must be followed. The sequence valve that's used. The sequence valves ensure the proper order for the operation maintained and reduction pressure on the fluid flow. Concerning components can be cut off with the hydraulic system to ensure adequate supply of the fluid to the essential components such as flight control priority valve and or you to automatically shut off the supply of the fluid and non-essential components. Lesson 3, Hydraulic Pressure Limiting and Controlling and Sensing Devices. STP Task 552-758-1003, FF2, sorry, 552-758-1006, 552-758-1071. Introduction, Hydraulic System in a modern Air Army aircraft with operated with a pressure up to 3,000 PSI with air must be protected against excessive high pressure that can cause seals and lines to fail with the pressure relief valve they're used to keep the system pressure from exceeding the predetermined safety limit complex hydraulic system can use only any number of the components actuated servos irreversible valves selector valves check valves accumulators hydraulic motors etc each of the various components on one hydraulic system can be open and operate most of the efficiency different pressure systems having a single hydraulic pressure pressure to reducers and use the varying operating pressure to different components if hydraulic pressure becomes low too low or uh, too low for safe the operation of the hydraulic pressure of the switch can be used for the closing the electrical circuit they actuate the warning light to the cockpit turns on the secondary system and does the both in the chapter you will learn on the device use the limit control and sense hydraulic pressure pressure relief valve the relief valve is installed any time any system with a contained with the confined lim liquid subjects for the pressure for the use of the relief valve fill fills into falls into one or more three categories in the first category relief valve is used to protect the hydraulic system if the pump with the compensator fails relief valve is adjusted to open the pressure for the slightly higher than the normal system operating pressure in the second category the relief valve is used to protect the system subject the pressure increase the cause of the thermal expansion and the third category relief valve is used for the sole means of pressure control in the hydraulic system. Relief valve. The configuration of relief valves are either two port or four port both types are operating in the same way. The main reason for the additional port the convenience is the idea of convert, connecting of the plumbing. For simplicity, only two port pressure relief valves are described in this text. Two port per relief valve port and the typical two port relief valve is shown in figure three one. The shift of the housing inlet outlet port with the valving device, compressing spring and adjustment screw. The hydraulic system is pressurized the pressure and pressure act, acts against the valving device. The, the case of the ball. The ball is held against the seat by the coil spring where the fluid pressure is great enough against the ball to overcome the force of the spring. The ball is unseated that allows the fluid to pass exact pressure to them at which it takes place and called the cracking pressure. The pressure can be adjusted to any undesired pressure to means for the pressure adjusting screw with the fluid passing on the valve. Pra ball flows for the end of the return line back to the reservoir. Figure 3 one shows the pressure, pressure relief valve in the return port that um, pressure um, pressuring port ball orifice compressing spring adjusting screw and pressure adjusting screw. Pressure adjusting cap, sorry. Pressure reducer provides more than one level of the pressure the system with a single hydraulic pump. The reducer is figure three one consists of the three port housing piston, poppet springs, adjusting spring, adjusting screw. The poppet is a valve devising on the flat face. Three ports of the housing are input pressure produced, pressure port, and return port. Figure three two shows the pressure port. A um, input pressure port and a return port. Poppet spring reduced pressure port and poppet. Um, Piston um, and adjusting spring and, and adjusting screw. Withholding pressure. The pressure reducing operated with the principle of withholding the pressure rather than receiving it with no pressure in the system. Adjusting spring tension holds the poppet open. The system produces the build up of the fluid passage with the poppet reducing the pressure port with the pressure acting against the piston. Perceive the force of the adjusting spring with the pressure reduced with the poppet. You move it to close to the inlet port. The further build up of the system pressure does not affect the reduce the pressure until the decrease the amount uh, enough to allow the inlet port inlet to be open. The spring tension relieved pressure with the pressure reduced. They also reduce the increased pressure resulting from thermal expansion. As the pressure is reduced, pressure of the force increases the piston movement against the adjusting spring, opening the return and relieving the excessive pressure. Pressure switch. The pressure switch is designed to open and close the electrical circuit that responds to the um, predetermined hydraulic pressure of the switch. Activates the warning and protective device to set minimum pressure for the switch. It can be turned on the light to warn the pilot to turn off the pump, but then they activate the solenoid control valve with the type of the high pressure switch. The piston diaphragm commonly used aircraft, uh, Army aircraft that described in the following paragraphs. Piston pressure switch. Piston pressure switch to figure 3 3 consists of the housing cylinder, poor piston, and the adjusting spring with the loading of the piston. Micro switch linking with the transmitting of the movement of the piston to the micro switch. The housing has a pressure port with the connection of the system pressure and the electrical receptacle with the connecting of the switch to an electrical circuit. 
All right, um, figure three through E shows the piston pressure switch and adjusting spring, a linkage with the pivot level and a pit switch. Um, p and the uh, sorry, the piston pressure port, electrical receptacle, and micro switch. Diaphragm pressure switch. The diaphragm pressure switch consists of a housing diaphragm adjusting the spring to hold the diaphragm micro switch linkage transmitter movements. Diaphragm micro switch. The housing of the ports the same function as those of the piston switch. Pressure switch operation. The two types of the pressure switch have the same operating principles. Only piston is one covered here. Fluid pressure enters the piston pressure port and moves to the face of the piston against the adjusting spring. When the pressure becomes thick enough to overcome the force of the spring, the piston moves to the cuff of the pivot lever to rotate the movement of the lever is transmitted through the linkage of the micro switch button. This closes the electric circuit. All right, summary. Hydraulic system had a device to protect against the excessive pressure. They are called the pressure relief valve. The valves adjust are adjustable, and they are set open at a pinpoint slight above the pin maximum pr system pressure. When this occurs, the fluid is returned to the system reservoir. The pressure, pressure reducer to deliver the correct pressure to each of the component of the hydraulic system. This makes it possible that one hydraulic pump to deliver one set of the pressure system it requires a sample of different pressure the pressure switches or physical com com combination of the hydraulic device pressure point poses, piston, sprint, and electrical device micro switch and wiring pressure switches are usually since hydraulic switches depending on the switch the pressure to too high or too low micro switch closes and energize the valve and stops and starts pumps it illuminates a warning light and that completes the basic hydraulic components and components uh, basic hydraulic systems and components and so of course AL0926 uh, edition A Army Institute professional development